is the right one. Well, as of now, you are pretty familiar. The silicon bacterial disease are treated as per the international standard MAS 3.3 and MAS 3.4. As according to that, you are aware that this application of um, a lot of antibiotics or three fall therapy or quattro therapy. Because of that, we have put for ourselves a, a task to estimate combination pharmacological um, medicals in treating chronic hastritis and ulcers. The uh, approaches we use, we all, that are all on the screen, intravenous application, rectal application were used. These are the groups, the most, the total number 570, red one is 69, also um, in male. The, this average life is indicated in the screen. 105 chronic has treated 65 ulcer disease of digestion tract, stomach. As for helibacter, pyrrolin. These are the approaches we have implemented. Those that you you know. That you you know the application of ozone according to and treatments according to standards. I'd like to pay attention to endoscopy. As you see, before the treatment and after the treatment, uh, the graphs are presented on the slide. The TT means traditional and OT means a zone of therapy. Flucogalicoprotein. This, of course, a zone of therapy has advantages in this, uh, in the terms plasmatic cells after treating with ozone therapy if inflammation has gone the next slide please okay nitrophil uh, you take a look after the therapy of ozone these are the numbers we got now we're talking about immune system immunohabilin G compared to norms compared to the standards and you can see a zone of therapy gives us uh, surprising results containing immunohemoglobin M as you can see after treatment we see good results next slide please the number of CD3 uh, cells as well you can see 1,003 norm is a standard and which is the second after ozone therapy CD8 cells we have the same result but it, even 23 norm 26 after ozone therapy as you could see the yellow column is after six weeks uh, CD72 cells Seven CD16 we have the same norm 16 would be the norm and 16.4 after ozone therapy after uh, following six months <coughs> next one please uh, CD4 dash CD8 we see uh, the same result the next step is phagocytar activity of leukocytes norm would be 60 and 56.1 would be um, would be uh, the result we got from ozone therapy following six months. POL products ozone therapy uh, following six months. We have a nice picture. 
anti antioxidant system the same the same results following six weeks surface resistance of erythrocytes this well was well discussed today phospholipid um, membrane restores pretty well a um, big amount of erythrocytes after implementation after application of ozone penetrate capillaries as you can know 6.8 microns the diameter and the capillary is 4.5 microns so the nature has cancelled the um, nucleus so now it splashes very well now at least for 98 days it's approximately starting from 60th day erythrocyte it splashes it cannot splash no more because the lipid membrane becomes very flat and because of that erythrocyte runs around the blood circulation route and but cannot penetrate and deliver oxygen in treating with ozone every routine releases and command to distract the erythrocyte, the old one and new one released. That's why ozone therapy perfectly solves hypoxy of cells. Condition of microflora of the gut. Red is the norm. The That you can see what we have after the um, the large large bowel of microflora, and you see the results after zone therapy. Efficiency microcirculation index. That what was talking about the penetration of erythrocyte into capillary cavity. Everything equals here because of the ozone therapy. Next slide, please. As for pathogenous, chronic has street and ulcers. The uh, direct infection on bacteria is uh, realized with uh, mem membrane microbe, and, in, and that is called phospholite oxidation and lipoproteins through creation of zonites activate oxidation oxidating restoring function of mitochondrial chain of respiration through this process it liquidates cytotoxic activity of amniac to the membrane of the stomach direct intervention into metabolism of our our heterochide acid since Arcusley sedation is involved. The most in interesting is reoccurrence is um, in, for the large bowel. So you see the green indicators here first 12%, the second 14%, the third year 15, 15%, the fourth year 17%, and the, on the, five, and the fifth year was. 22 and 0.8 percent so 22% reoccur within five years and and if we use basis therapy we see much greater numbers as you can see red columns so it's approximately 75 80 percent of um, those who were treated completely as on therapy um, takes the first place let's ask a question why does it happen this way the upper part uh, tri triac therapy denol in the center goes six columns for pathology development microcyclation helicobacter pylori epithelial barrier immune system and digestion no secretion the triple therapy is inefficient to for all the components in 
developing the pathology if we include zona therapy Amiprazole, no antibiotics, which is as a contra contraaction for mass settings. That's what we had the effect you are seeing on the screen. So the conclusion we can make, medical ozone has unique properties, universal nature antibiotic, regulator of ferment oxidation, restoring processes for the cell and immunomodulator which are contradictions for using ozonotherapy early period after um, different uh, bleedings hypothyreosis alcohol intoxication thrombocytopenia and um, blood serum properties